<laughs> All right, friends, we back, man, with guess who? The Bomba Claude, Rasta Claude man himself. Guess who? <laughs> Jason Blaha, man, strength and Bomba Claude fitness, dude. The lifting gym slave, bro. We're going to review this video together. I tried making one earlier, but I missed it. And I was busy. I was busy working and doing stuff. And uh, then I had just come back from the gym. So, yeah, leg day today but um that was too much for me i think i'm gonna have to take some time out a bit i don't know all right let's review this video jason blaha says looks like uh jason blaha looks like molten candle wax why should we listen to him it's a good question why would you listen to him look at that dad bod bro <laughs> i'm gonna turn you into daddy bod that dad sarcopenia bod 40 this guy's just turned 47 Look at that body, bro. He just, he looks so old, like an 80-year-old guy. He looks like Mr. Shanko. This old guy used to take care of me when I was a child down the street. He was, he was 80. He was 80, that dude. He lived to, a, he lived practically, practically to almost 100. He died of like 100 and something. Yeah, he moved back to Europe and uh, he was really old, man. Fuck, he was retired a long time. He looks like, he reminds me of him. Anyways, let's review this video. Jason Blaha looks like melted candle wax. Why should we listen to or believe anything that he has to say about fitness? Um, hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and that is probably the single largest professional criticism that I get. It's true, Jason, because you don't do anything. You don't do anything new or inventive. You're doing the exact same things over and over again. You are adapted to all these lifts, all these exercises. You just want to look nice and pretty for the camera. Your exercises, your movements, they all have to look good. And then the fact is you can't look good doing movements in a gym. They're just relative movements. You have to do a lot of something to really condition your body if you want it to get better. Otherwise, it's just not going to do anything. It's not going to move by itself. If you don't move it, uh, you know, everything else is ad hominem attacks, right? Everything that people hold against me is, is either things taken out of context. Because you're lazy. Even I have to, at my age, late 50s, I have to do certain things that I don't want to do. But, bro, I don't care about the gym. All I care about is what people see me walking in public. That's it. That's all I care about. Gym lasts me one hour, but um, life is forever in public. They don't care about gym. Text or ad hominem personal text that people have completely fabricated. Uh, but that they didn't fabricate. The eyes don't lie, Jason. You look like a molten candle, okay? You look like an 80 year old guy, like Mr. Shenko down the street, okay? Look at you with that pumpkin head. And, and those boobs and everything. Come on, bro. You don't even look conditioned. How the fuck can I look better than you? And you're on drugs, TRT, man. You are on TRT. You're taking steroids. And you're working out all the time. You're a lifting slave. I just started lifting again. And I'm just in the conditioning phase right now. Because... If I was lifting, I would make videos, but uh, I'm, I, I don't. I'm lifting now, so I'm making videos, get it? When I lift, that's when I make videos. When I don't lift, I don't make videos. Yeah. So, I don't know. You you are a lifting slave because you have to perpetually lift these weights to be good at lifting them forever. Otherwise, guess what? That strength is going to go away out the window, bro. Get it? Yeah, man. It's going to go bye-bye. Look, if I, don't, if I don't ice skate for an entire year and I come back, of course I'm going to be shaky the first day and I'll get an adaptation. They call that muscle damage. And it, and it repairs and remodels a lot stronger. Get it? So it doesn't get damaged with the repeated bout. And no more shakiness. You're stronger. Get it? But I guess people, they don't understand what strength means. There's all kinds of strength out there. Aside, let's talk about this one because it's a professional criticism. It's not a, oh, we don't like you. All right, uh, so let's set aside all the elite athletes I've coached. Let's set aside the fact that um, at 47 years old, you guys are seeing me bench with a pause ball up into the 300s, deadlift over 600, all that stuff. Nobody cares about your numbers. Jason, nobody is ever going to see what you lift in the streets. You live in the virtual world or virtual reality. You live online, YouTube. 
You're just, it's all show. It's all show. It's all show. It's YouTube. And it, and it doesn't last very long. The, the video goes 10 minutes and it's bye-bye. <laughs> you understand me? This is the virtual, the virtual world. Real world out there, virtual world in here. Nobody cares. Look, people tell me things on my channel. They're just words they write me. They're just words. They're scratching on the comment section. They're just scratching with their nails and doing weird things. They're like little children with crayons, scratching. I don't care what they say or about me or do whatever. The only thing that matters to me is what I look like in public, how I perform out there in public, in sports, in public, walking around. That's all I give a shit about. I care about producing. That's it. Let's, let's set that aside. We can get into some of that in a minute. But why should you listen to someone who has lots of loose skin from losing very large amounts of body fat? Well, I think the most obvious answer... I don't just see it's loose skin. If you're on these steroids, which you acknowledge you're on steroids, because you even give steroid advice to people, whatever, in your channel, then why aren't you exuding that steroid look? There's something going on there. There's something wrong there. Because you're not working hard. You're just lifting, slave. Get it? You actually have to work hard to get your body to look a certain way. You have to do specific things to make it look, to manipulate it, to get an adaptation. There's different types of adaptations when it comes to fibers to make your muscles and your body, your skin look a particular way. Get it? If you want a condition, then you need to bodybuild, but you're not bodybuilding. You're just a lifting slave. You want to show to every make a show to everybody look uh, deadlift this that and these fucking weird exercises which you're adapted to so if you're adapted no more adaptations zero i'm constantly doing something different now in my channel according to my conditioning it's different all my movements are different i've never done those before i've done them 20 something years ago but i've never done them before in 25 fucking years get it so now that i'm doing it i gotta get a new adaptation because the old adaptations that disappeared see what i mean and I can still do it in my old age. I look massive like a bodybuilder. I look like a classic bodybuilder practically. You understand me like the old time bodybuilders walking around. And I'm not even on drugs, bro. And I don't even work out. I don't even work out. Sure. Okay, you guys ready? I'm a person who without doing any sort of surgery to do so, lost over a hundred pounds of body fat. All right. Here we go again, without the surgery, lost 100 pounds, body fat, here we go with the th bullshit, man. If we want to talk about a personal qualifier, oh. right, we'll talk about a personal qualifier and something that would make someone uh, an expert on fat loss who has a lot of personal experience, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that a person who has lost on their own without any coaching, without any help from anyone else, without any doctors, without any surgery. Look at you, man. Nobody cares. Nobody cares what you're saying. They're not, they don't even give a shit. They're, this, you're, they're watching your video, but they don't give a shit, bro. Involved, who has success. Nobody out there cares about you except you yourself. And if you don't care about yourself, nobody else will. They don't give a shit about you. And when they see you better than them, they're going to start scratching on your comment section telling you bad things. But they're not jealous of you. They're literally telling you these things. They're telling you the truth. Molten candle, bro. Get it? That's what they see. The eyes don't lie. It's when they say very specific things to put you down, which they can't put you down. They say specific things when they know that you're better than them, but you're not. Because you haven't created that look to be better than them. Because you're a lazy motherfucker, bro. They lost over a hundred pounds of body fat through their own hard work. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. What are you talking about? Nobody cares. Probably has the magic secrets to fat loss. Nobody cares. Okay. How many people have successful? You, yeah, starving yourself is a magic to weight loss. Okay. That's smart. Mm-hmm. Let me get this straight. So if I starve myself, you, 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 you have the magic thing. I starve myself. I got experience. How'd you do it? I starve myself. Okay. Experience is when you can really build muscle. Can you build muscle though? No, you never built anything. You don't have anything there. You just have a puffy look with water retention. 
really done that. What is the success rate on that? It's very low. I'm going to say that I personally, because I have lost over... I can tell that you do not have any muscle. That I, You have a little bit of puffy look. You're retaining because I've seen your diet. You eat carbs. I'm on a pure carnivore diet. I'm pure. I'm not pumped. I'm not anything. I'm not nothing. And I'm fucking massive, bro, still on a carnivore diet. You just, I don't even have contractile proteins, a lot of them, because I haven't been building them up. I, I haven't been building them up. I just eat like three meals a day, sometimes four. I don't really eat that much. It's just, I wake up in the morning. It's always four, four raw eggs. In the afternoon, I may have some fish or I may have a, a steak or some fish. And then in the afternoon, I may have like, I don't know, I might boil some eggs or I might have some pork, some sausages, something like that. Maybe two or three sausages or something, but it's all meat and I don't really eat that much. I don't eat that much, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> and then I just drink some water and stuff like that. And occasionally I cheat. I might have some chocolate, this and that, which I shouldn't. I eat some chocolate and occasionally I might have a little bag of chips or something because I miss having chips. I like eating chips sometimes, but it's very seldom. It's mostly just a little bit of chocolate or something and there's water and green tea. I drink a lot of green tea, but I shouldn't even be drinking the green tea, but you know, these are habits. Like I said, focus on 90% of the diet, 10% can be shit. For 100 pounds of body fat, completely on my own. Again, no doctors involved. No surgeries involved. I personally think that I am one of the foremost experts in the entire world on successful fat loss. I think that makes me a legitimate expert because I have done it. It's one thing to say, well, I've helped before. Yes, you're genuinely an expert on losing weight, uh, start on starving yourself to lose weight. Okay. Persians do it. I've helped a few clients do it. <laughs> I've actually done it. I have experienced it firsthand and through my own hard work have successfully done so. Where does that rank me? Uh, yeah, okay. It doesn't rank you anywhere. A lot of people do it. Right? Because I'm not talking about people who hire. Look at that chest, bro. Look at that. Why are you sticking out your tongue there all the time? What's the matter with you? A trainer to do it. I'm not talking about people who had bariatric surgery. I trained myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a mistake. Surgery. <laughs> I trained myself. I trained myself. I coached myself. He coached and himself. Yes. I yes, he coached himself. He trained himself. Oh, poor Blaha. Yeah. To I, starve himself to death. I believe that is absolute proof beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am easily one of the leading experts in the world on extreme balance. Oh, yeah. Because I've done it. I have done it on my own, completely on my own. Man, I've seen people lose like 400 pounds. What's 100 pounds? Who are your expert? What's his name? The Mountain B. Jorensen lost over 100 pounds. What are you talking about? So I, I think every person on the face of the earth who wants to lose a large amount of body fat should absolutely 100% listen to what I say because I know how to do it. Yeah, starve yourself. First-hand experience. I have done it in my own body without any help from a n single other person on the face of the earth. It was oh, all. Um, how about the fact that I'm 47 years old? And in spite of... Here we go with the age again. Having some loose skin, uh, I think I've got a reasonably, reasonably decent... Again, I think it's more than just loose skin. ...physique. You, guys are you have a terrible physique. Literally watching me also just rep out 235 on the incline bench right here. Um, Again, you're all about looking good. You're all about looking good. You can't change your body if you're all about looking good and you're adapted. In order to change a body, it, like conditioning it, you have to do things that you're un, uh, unfamiliar with. It has to be unfamiliar, unaccustomed things you're doing 
to get a new adaptation even getting that muscular look that body if you want to kind of move it around change it you will need to do a lot of something that you've never done before and different movements so that you can get a new adaptation in my videos i don't look good lifting it doesn't look pretty or anything but i'm constantly moving driving and driving if you notice the people in the gym nobody's doing anything they're just lazy they're just kind of around me hanging around but look how many exercises i'm doing i'm fucking arms this calves die shoulders blah legs boo fucking man i'm just going on the machine again sometimes i let the the camera roll so you can see i literally move from one arm to the other arm this arm to that arm other arm that, that arm that arm this arm that arm i'm like i'm keep going bro i keep going man I, there's no rest in between i rest the arm when the other arm's gonna do the movement that's when it rests the other arm gets to rest when the other arm's finished get it man <laughs> we're doing weighted pull-ups all that stuff yeah okay Pretty strong guy. You guys have seen me squat up around 600. You've seen me deadlift 635 with no straps. Yeah, I've seen you do it for one rep. And what the hell is one rep gonna do, dude? What is one rep gonna do? Uh, I've broken like seven state reps. I didn't even count there what you were doing on the bench. How many how many reps did you do there? And then you run away from it. You go do something else. You're all over the place, man. You're not steady. In one thing. Records and powerlifting. I've been invited to world champion. Look, now you're going to do what? Your shoulders after you did bench press? You didn't finish even doing your chest. You need at least a good... You need at least a, a good set of fucking 5 by, by 5 by 12 you fucking idiot. Powerlifting in two different federations multiple times. Nobody cares. You were on um, drugs. I have coached. You were on drugs doing those competitions. You're a liar. Multiple people who have been invited to world level powerlifting meets i have world level all these meets are phony they're all on drugs it's it's all fake I've coached multiple people who've broken state records it's all shit you want to know why because they fucking hate themselves that's why they have to do drugs they don't believe in themselves and they hate themselves and they see themselves as fucking garbage people so they inject these fucking hormones in them when you see yourself as a piece of garbage that's what you do you take drugs because you're garbage you're garbage and open powerlifting. Why would anybody take drugs if they didn't believe in themselves? You're young. If you're young, you're strong. You can believe in yourselves. You can accomplish anything. The body can adapt to anything. If you know how to eke out these adaptations, if you have a good coach that could teach you that. See what I mean? But there are no good coaches out there anymore. They're all garbage people out there. Nobody's going to help you in this world. Nobody's going to tell you how they got there, that bench press or that lift or whatever. They're not going to. There's very few people out there that will acknowledge and tell you how to get there. There is one guy I post in my community section. He's a bench presser. He said he asked these guys whatever, and he was repping them out like 20 reps. The one guy told him if you could do 225 for 20 reps, then you should be able to do 405. And that is true. I learned, I learned it that way myself. That was the old school guys he said taught him that. These guys in his 50s told him that in the gym because he asked them. Yeah, I know. I know that too myself. If you could rep out a higher rep range in a, on, a lower, on a lower amount of weight, then you should be technically be able to do a higher weight. That's all you're really doing. Why is that? Because you're getting, you got, you've got more eccentric movements on the bench press, so you get more stretch damage. You get more micro injuries. With those micro injuries, the muscle is able to repair and remodel a lot stronger somewhere for the motor units and the androgen receptors to attach and proliferate, giving you some more adaptations. That's the whole point. See what I mean? It'll make you stronger. No, that's how you get stronger. Without him, you cannot get stronger. You're going to be like, yeah, but I, I got a stronger, but I didn't get a bigger. Well, you're not going to get a bigger, that much bigger. You'll get some. It's density. It's density. It is not mass. I told you, in science, they tell you how to build mass. Protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown to see that mass on that myofibular. That's the difference. Right, both tested and untested. I have coached people for physique transformations, which you guys have seen various pictures of. Uh, and what I would say with that, uh, you can say whatever you want about me as a person. You can say whatever you want about, about me as a human being. Um, you can not like the fact that I refuse to get involved in politics. You can not like the fact that I hate all political parties. We all do. Which, uh, a sense of humor. Okay. 
Cool, you can just- You look terrible there, man. What's with that tongue, dude? Like all those things. You know, these are all calibrated plates. It's not like anything I left isn't done with calibrated plates. You can't claim gym plates, right? These are all rogue competition calibrated plates. They're, yeah, they're all rogue. I don't know that. I don't know if they're all competition. They could be fake. There are fake uh, Ivan Co weights and these whatever these weights. They make fake ones out there, okay? Certified within one gram. I don't know that. I don't know that for sure. You're not in a you're not in a commercial gym. You're in your garage. How do we know those weights are not fake? How do we know? All right, but the rest of it's undeniable. And again, if you're going to try to deny that, then you know that you're lying. So, uh, again, why should you listen to me? Well, I've got an extreme track record of success in doing things that other people find unobtainable. Uh, and I've got a track record of success. And what is that? That's coaching clients to do so. I've put out free programs that tens of thousands of people have run, including... Yes, let me get it. A sick person has put out these programs and is coaching these imaginary people. He found some videos online. Okay, great. A number of very famous fitness influencers who've credited me with building their base off my free program. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's why you should listen to me. That's why you should listen to Jason, because he's a good faker. He's a great scammer. <laughs> Look at him, man. Look at this dude. <laughs> he's just throwing the weights up in the air. There's nothing going on in the shoulders. They're just fatiguing. Fatigue is not associated with any eccentric muscle damage with an adaptation. It is, is just associated with that. Fatigue, you're fatiguing it. Yeah, it's getting tired. You're, you're losing the glycogen, some of it. It's, it's going out. You better add more of that glycogen in there. Even though I have loose skin, like a What's he talking about this whole loose skin? You have loose skin. You're drooping. You're molten candle. You have droopy muscles. They're puffy. They're filled with, with, with carbohydrates. <laughs> They're filled with glycogen. Glycogen proteins are not contractile proteins, dude. I think you need to wake up. Molten candle, right? That's why you should listen to me. Uh Weights do not build muscle. Muscles, uh, blaha. I'll tell you what they do. When, when, they're, when you're unaccustomed to those movements... You get an adaptation through what? Muscle damage. Okay. What makes you see the mass on the myofibular? Protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown. That is astronomical. Your body adapts even to the meals that you eat. So they don't work the same. Some, some people are, well, I eat six meals a day. Okay. You eat six meals a day, but guess what? Your body rapidly adapts to that. Here's another thing. Even though you are lifting, let's say you go up, you go up higher. Now it rapidly heals, repairs and remodels the muscle even faster. It'll do it even, there's a repairing and a remodeling even faster now. <laughs> yeah, you move up and wait and it, and it just, it wants to, it doesn't want to repair and remodel to build more muscles and give donations of the, new, the myonuclei. That's why it says an MND size limit. It says the, it says it reached the ceiling limit during hypertrophic process where the progenitor beyond where the progenitor satellite cell can donate any extra nuclei to that domain to support further muscle growth. Why do you need these nuclei? Why do you need the, the progenitor cell to donate its nuclei to the, to that, the, to that domain now, the progenitor is going to differentiate of course it's going to make myo2 it's going to turn into myoblasts and fibroblasts and a whole bunch of other cells they molt into each other to create myo tubes and other more fibers sarcomeres and numbers and things yeah you you get it's sarcomeres and numbers it's a, it's protecting itself that's the whole that's the whole thing it's a it's a protection from getting muscle damage it, it's protecting you from getting muscle, from building muscle, from getting damaged. Because in a damaged state, you're weakened. You can get a permanent injury even in a weakened state if you were to do something even more astronomically heavier or whatever bomb while you were in having these micro injuries. Get it? Yeah, man. The body does that purposefully. It purposefully does that. It repairs and remodels, makes it stronger and more resilient from getting what? More adaptations. So zero adaptations. Yeah, man. Uh, I have at least a reasonable idea of what I'm doing and what I'm talking about when it comes to no. strength training, lifting weights, body count. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't. He doesn't know. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't know anything. Position, nutrition. 
No, you don't. <laughs> All right, Not even nutrition. Look at his food basket. He doesn't know. I finally know about nutrition because I had to experiment on my old channel. I understand now. We are carnivores. We eat carnivore diets. That's what keeps sustains us and keeps us healthy and strong all the time through life. I'm not saying you, you, you can't cheat with this artificial world food that the, your government is making out there. You can cheat 10%, but 90% should be your natural food. That's it. So you don't run into problems. Yes, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. The yeah. only difference between us carnivores and the carnivores in the past, they ate wild animals. I believe when you eat wild animals, you are absorbing their DNA. It's a known fact these fish went in the water, they were going down the stream and they would eat leaves. The scientists did a test on these fish and they found the fish was 70% of that, it shared its DNA, 70% with that plant. Yeah, so here's another thing. This is what they give us slaves to eat. Pork, chicken, these shitty chickens and pork and beef. You're not really eating bison, the real animals. Bison, fucking deer and shit. Fucking wild, fucking huge oxens and shit, whatever that's out there. Bulls, fucking bull testicles, fucking bull fucking meat. Now that's DNA for you. When you eat that shit, your DNA transforms into that. But if you eat fucking cows and pork all day, think about what your DNA is turning into. That's why we're so shitty. We're so shit. In the past, they ate wild animals. Your DNA conforms. It conforms to that. You share that DNA from that animal. You understand me? I bet people don't even think about that. They don't even understand that part. I'll see you in the next one. Tell us to think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Molten Candle for sure. Jason Blaha. See you in the next one. Ciao, friends.